Arca's place at the bottom of the earth is covered in ice and snow And Kathy traveled all night and day to the place where the seals and the penguins play She sends us a message from far away, so see where adventures take us today, today, today This is McMurdo Station, Antarctica, where I live and work for many months each year In Antarctica, we make a lot of our electricity with engines, just like this one they're just like the engine in your car, only much, much bigger. As a power plant technician, one of the big parts of my job is regularly checking the engines and keeping logs of the important systems. Let's go take a look. It all comes from this powerful electricity, electricity. Through high wires to here it comes, they're bringing a electricity, electricity. Every building must be wired to use it to electricity electricity power plants most all use fire to make it to electricity electricity burning fuel and using steam they generate electricity electricity turn that generator by any means you're making a electricity But all this electricity comes at a price, the costly effects of burning fuel. Every two years, McMurdo Station receives fuel from a Coast Guard tanker in order to make up for the 1.3 million gallons of fuel burned each year to power the station. Beginning in 2005, the United States Antarctic Program joined in a venture with Antarctica New Zealand that committed to reducing the environmental impact of operations for the two stations. This was done by harnessing the power of a readily available natural resource, the wind. In February 2009, three 333 kilowatt wind turbines went online, linking into the power grid supplying both stations and bringing renewable energy to Ross Island, Antarctica. You can't do that. It's, uh, you, could, you can't pour concrete down here in those quantities. Mm. You can pour small amounts of concrete, but you couldn't get um, it in the ground properly and have it uh, go off properly before it froze. So, what we have, you can see these concrete pads here. Under the foot of the uh, each spider leg, those uh, concrete blocks are actually about six foot. one lift up to there and then the, uh, the alternator the bit that produces the power that then gets put into the uh, nacelle and the blades are assembled on the ground so the hub sits flat on the ground with the blades coming in the sides and there's a device called a banana which is a little railed uh, c-section that, uh, that gets lifted up vertically and then the blades are swung into the vertical position and then they're put onto the uh, that's on the ladder that goes up the tower and uh, if you fall, it clicks into a spot on the tower and stops you from going all the way down. Since coming online, the Ross Island Wind Farm has significantly reduced the need for diesel-generated electricity on Ross Island, decreasing fuel consumption by 122,000 gallons each year and cutting CO2 emissions by 1,242 tons annually. These changes go a long way towards minimizing the impact of human activity on this fragile Arctic environment. 